If you don't want to die from skin cancer, pay attention to this video. I'm not trying to freak you out, but prevention is key to avoiding skin cancer. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a certified hospice and palliative care nurse, so I know a thing or two about how to die and how not to die. I recently posted a video I made about a young woman I cared for who died from a melanoma cancer. The cancer first appeared on her hip below her bikini line. She told me she had tanned a lot when she was younger. Somebody left a comment on that video asking me how could she get a melanoma on her hip if that wasn't the part of her body that was exposed to the sun? Great question. The skin is an organ. It is not a whole bunch of pieces. It is one continuous part of your body. So if any parts of your skin are exposed to the sun, all the parts of your skin can potentially be affected by that. A sunburn on your nose can cause you to get a melanoma on any part of your body, even parts where the sun doesn't shine. I've known of a person who had a melanoma on the back of the eyeball, someone who had one on her cervix. I knew someone who had one inside of their ear. My patient who had the one on her hip said it looked like a butterfly and it reached all the way through her body, wrapped around her spine and paralyzed her from the waist down. And in the end, she did die from it. If you don't wanna die from a melanoma cancer, always wear sunscreen anytime you're going to be exposed to the light, even on cloudy days. And even better, always wear a hat because your scalp is also skin and you can get melanoma from too much sun exposure there too. Remember to like this video and give me a follow if you want to know more about how to die and how not to die from a hospice nurse. That's me.